Hey guys, this is Brandy, otherwise known as Mystery of Diamonds, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hey y'all. Okay, so I have an unboxably, well, unboxably, look, look. It's an unbox, I just, I just mixed some words together. It's an unboxing from Craftably, so it's an un, unboxably. Um, I'm doing an unboxably from Craftably, um, and I am so excited to show this, um, Michael and Amy were so wonderful and, um, you know, asked if we wanted to uh, show something. I do know that this image has already been on their site um, because this is one of the newer kits that came in. Um, and what they've been doing is they've been releasing, um, you know, a certain percentage uh, each time. And I will say at present, this one is sold out on the website. However, However, I'm hoping to get this up Wednesday night, but if it doesn't go up till Thursday morning, Thursday, this Thursday, is when they're going to release their last 40%. So if this image is something that you're interested in, you know, I believe it's 8 o'clock Thursday, Central Standard Time, PM, 8 p.m. East, uh, percent, <laughs> I can, let me let me let me back that up. Back get back in the mouth. Get back to the mouth words. Eight p.m. Central Standard Time this Thursday. Okay, so this is the image that I'm going to be showing. Chromatic duet. Um, so I kind of did these nails. Like I know there's not a dragonfly in this picture, but. I feel like these colors really, in the nails, really do go with this image. Like, look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so I'm going to get into this. Um, I will save you the struggle, and I'll come back when I've got it um, laid out. Be right back. I do want to go ahead and mention that in the plastic sleeve, you're going to get your canvas, and you're going to get your toolkit. Um, now, your canvas is going to have a little bit of tape right here. Um, it doesn't take much to get that off. So I'm going to actually get that off and kind of uh, have it face down where I won't look at it. I promise y'all, I won't look at it. I will be a good girl. I will. I'll be a good girl. I won't look at it until I flip it over. Um, but that way it can be laying out as I show you kind of what's inside the toolkit. So... While I have this laying out to kind of flatten a little bit, I'll show you what all comes inside of it. You do get your um, drills. We will take a look at these in just a few minutes. You get a little pamphlet, a little craftably pamphlet that says, Welcome to the Craftably family. You know, it show, um, got their customer service, you know, where you can share your progress on any craftably. They show you how to diamond paint and all that. Here's some accessory ideas and what all the features of the kit are. So very, very nice. They also have a sticker sheet. We're going to look at that in just a moment. I want to get into the toolkit. First off, this toolkit is phenomenal. I love this burlap sack. I love the fact that it's purple too because purple is one of my favorite colors. So what all do you get in a Craftably toolkit? Woo! Oh, hello, hello. It's going everywhere. <laughs> well, first thing you get is you get your, um, what I call your basics. This is your, your basics in here um, that is the same with every kit, okay? You get your diamond painting pen. It has a thin four-placer. You also have a thin, I think this is a seven-placer. Yes, thin seven-placer. You have a purple squishy, mine kind of got a little bit flattened, um, that goes on your pen. But um, if you follow my channel, like I, I can't, I, I'm not great with putting it on when I'm on film. So trust me, that does go on. <laughs> um, you have some purple wax. I mean, hello, purple. Uh, you have a pair of purple sharp. These are you know, very sharp, so you want to keep your lid on it, but sharp tweezers, but look how pretty, look how pretty that lavender color is, beautiful, and then you have this really cute purple tray, and it does have some glitter in the tray, whoop, whoop, um, so that's what your basic, that's what comes in your basic kit in here, and then what you get additionally is you get not one, 
but two things of washi tape. Okay, and mine, I've got cupcakes and snowflakes. You know, and so these these change. That you know, everybody's going to get different washi tape than than what I got. You also get a pot of branded craftably purple wax in the little um, what is this thing called? Tube tube tin. It's not really a tin. It's a plastic thingy. Yeah, but just make sure with uh, when you're using one of these, in case uh, you are new to diamond painting, when you use one of these and you open it up, you're going to see that it has three things of wax in there, three little circles. There is plastic on both the front and the back, and so you want to make sure that you take your plastic off um, when you're trying to dig your pin in there or you're not going to get any wax, but they have, you have plenty of wax Trust me, you won't even need all of this to be able, you know, between this and this, you got plenty of wax going on there. Um, and then you also get, in addition to your washi tape, you have a cover minder. And so I have, and I'm just going to leave it in a little box, I have a cute little teardrop, raindrop teardrop. Look at him, he's, he's peeking out from the box saying, hello, hello everybody's. He's, they're so cute. So I love these. All right, so let me put this up real quick, and then we'll take a look at the sticker sheet. So what comes on our sticker sheet? So what your sticker sheet is, is you have, and I love, y'all, I love the fact that they do this. You have this small sticker right here that you pull off, and you can put this in your um, diamond painting log book. You know, you have your start date. And finish date here and it's got the picture these are called just cuz stickers because they're just cuz just cuz now with craftably they list their dimensions in inches so this is a 20 inch by 28 inch um, so they don't do theirs in centimeters so I will get out my measuring tape and I will measure what that is in centimeters for those that kind of want to get an idea um then you get this sticker sheet and these are where you just peel you, you peel them off to put them in your um put th put them on i don't know why you're going to put them inside something brandy like what are you talking about over here I'm like in La La Land. See, I've gone to work today, and and this this week is our last week with the kids, and obviously, obviously somewhere my my brain is still back at my school. I think. Um, so you peel these off and put them on your storage kits, or however you're going to kit them up. This has 68 colors. 68 colors. Now the way that Craftably does theirs is they list their ABs and all of that and special at the bottom. So, and they list, if it's an AB, it says AB in front of it. And if it's a rhinestone, it says LZ. So we have, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six ABs and one, two, three, four rhinestones. Y'all, y'all, that's, that's a lot of ABs and rhinestones. So I'm really curious as to how much of each of these that we have and where they're listed on this kit. But 68 colors, that's a lot. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at this. Y'all ready to see this? I'm ready to see it. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, let's hopefully I've got it in the right. No, of course I didn't have it in the right direction because I'm a dinky thorpe. <laughs> take a look at this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it this way so that we can see and pull us up. Look at that oh my god do you see how colorful this is o m g yes i wanted some color i wanted to do some color and i'm going to do some color sorry okay yeah that's my color dance i got my little color dance going on oh my gosh this is gonna be so much fun now with a craftly i do want to say you want to stick around in this video um, because after I show you the kit, there is a event that I am hosting along with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment and Kara from The Principal Painter 
for the month of June called Craftably Craze 23. And so you want to stick around so that you can hear the details of the event. But I want it to I want it to open this up first. I will go ahead and tell you this does have scalloped and serged edges. Um, and they use can you just hear the difference there? It's a very thick plastic. And there's our drill field right there. Okay, I can see perfectly fine. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this bad boy over and we're going to take a look at the drills. All right, so due to my small uh, table, I do have out my measuring tape. So it says, you know, it's a 20 by 28 inch. So 20 inches on a measuring tape, if you turn it over, it's almost, or actually it is, it's 51 centimeters pretty much right there at 51 centimeters so and when they do it they do measure from picture inside to picture inside not outside of the canvas so it's a 51 centimeter by 28 is like close to 71.5 it's it's like it's or no it's not but yeah Come on, Brandy, get this on there. So about 71, so about 71 centimeters. Um, so you're looking at about a 51 by 71 centimeter uh, if you are into the centimeters. I do like that they put it in um, inches because of the fact that when we go look for uh, picture frames, we, we see inches because that's what they do. All right, so looking at their drills, I love the fact that, you know, you have a sticker here on your drills so that, you know, if you do store your drills separately, you, you already know what picture that you have right here. You know what this goes with, okay? Um, now, I didn't mention an artist, and that's because this is from Shutterstock.com. This is a stock image um, that they are using that is a licensed stock image. So, you know, all to good by design projects. Okay, are we ready to get in here and take a look at these drills? I am. I am like so, so excited. So, let's go down to Crinkle Town. Woo, Crinkle Town, Crinkle Town. Oh, yes. And I'm going to put these to this, this side. Now, before I start going into the drills, I'm going to give my basic warning. Um, I started doing something where I, uh, as I go through the drills, I speed it up as far as the uh, video afterwards and editing. And when I speed it up, it makes me sound like a chipmunk. Um, and so I'm still talking in chipmunk and everything. So I call this chipmunk mode. And, you know, if you don't like chipmunk mode, I will be putting up an image of a chipmunk when it's going to start. And then I will, when it's over, I will put up another image of the chipmunk so that you know that chipmunk mode is over. But if you're one that you're interested in listening to a little bit of fun, a little bit of something interesting, you know, because it can be a little funny, especially when it gets kind of fast, um, then, you know, hold on tight and go on. And if you don't like the chipmunk mode, just skim right on until you see that chipmunk again and you know that it'll be over. Okay, so are we ready? Chipmunk mode activate. All right, so we have 319, which is this pretty green. It looks like we have, what just, I, I flung it, I flung it off the table. Look at, we have two of the three tens. We have 304, this pretty red. 300 brown, 209, 208, 158. Look at these colors. 155, 154. Now they do number theirs right there, so you know that this is like goes in number one. So it goes in order, you know. So you have this is number one, two, three, just like it is on your canvas. So you don't have to go like searching out what goes next. Um, you know, so like this one ended at number nine, and this picks up at number ten. And that way, it just, you know, you just can get straight up if you're one that gets up in, you know, in order, like I do, because I'm, I'm, I like mine that way. <laughs> All right, we have 321, 327, 333, 340, pretty purples, 341, 400. Oh, look, 400 got a little blue guy hanging out. Hi, guy, how you doing? And then we got 434, 444, pretty yellow, 500, 550. I wish there was a little bit more 550. I love 550. And that was number, well, I don't even know, look, what, what, what is that? Number 19. So then now we got to get to number 20. So this must be, yep, number 20. So we have 580. 608. Oh, that's a look how bright that one is. 720, 731, 733, 734, 740, 741, 747, 782. Oh, look at them pretty colors. And that one ended at number 29. So let's find number 30. Oh, I think I like 30's color. 796, 
And then I'm going to pull over the canvas and so we can kind of see where some of this stuff goes. Because this is a lot that's going on here. Okay, because I don't want to kind of keep you here forever because, wow, I'm just telling you, they have these colors like all over the place. So, um, we're going to start off with the ABs. So, that purplish, light purple AB. Um all the sections that you see that there's purple in, there are smatterings. I don't remember if that's a word, but there's smatterings all through uh, each of the purple in each of the flowers. Then you have your green AB, and this is this, it's like this like bright green right here. You see this bright green here? Anywhere you see that, um, those. Uh, that green is there, and you'll see it especially down here, which is um, like where the outside the stained glass is. There's a whole bunch going along there. Then you have um, for your yellow, um, all of these yellow sections have like a lot of that yellow scattered within it. Um, everywhere that you see that there's that there's yellow, there's a little bit of that, and that kind of goes, it just kind of goes all throughout the the canvas. You'll see different spots that have the, the yellow in it. You're going to have some of that AB uh, lurking within there. Your M, this is your orange AB, and that's going to be right, you know, where your yellow is. You also have your orange sections, and there's going to be... Um, scattering of that as well going throughout anywhere that you see your orange um, there is some of that orange AB uh, then you have like that pink AB and that pink is going right along here with that purple and so you're gonna get some of that um, which is this arrow is gonna have some of that pink um, a B going within that. So usually wherever you see your purple and pinks, you're gonna see some of um, some of that A B. And then of course the last A B is the blue and y'all seriously like the outside of this, which I think is like um, the outside uh, of the stained glass. All of these spots that you see right there, all of those like lighter colored are that blue. A, B, and there was a decent amount of them in there, so there's a lot of A, B that's going to be here at the top. 
you're going to have some going in any of your blue sections. You have some of that blue AB, um, you know, going through at some point there. All right, now that's your ABs. That's your six ABs. But then you also have four rhinestones. Um, so let me find out where those are. Okay, so let's see where these rhinestones go. So you have the yellow rhinestone, which is going to peak a little bit with, you know, in some of the yellow spots. But it's not like huge clumps. They're kind of, like I said, you know, scattered throughout. But they are, and it's just enough to be able to catch the light. And there, so most of where there's a lot of yellow, you're going to see some of that yellow rhinestone. The big, one of the big surprises for me is... This symbol right here, which is a, um, no, not that one. See, look, my old eyes. This, I was trying to point to that one. There's this symbol, and it's this white slash. Everywhere that you see this white slash, all within that red, that red rhinestone. And so we've got a lot of it concentrated here. There's a lot over here. There's a decent amount going down here, right here. So, Ooh, that's where our red is coming through. We're going to have some red going on there. Um, then we had that kind of like a baby light, super light blue. Um, and that's kind of going in certain areas within some of the, um, the lighter colored pink. Maybe it's a light color pink instead of a baby blue. But it just kind of looked super... It's just kind of super palish blue is what it looked like to me. And so you've got a lot of it going um, down here. Uh, and then your last one is that clear rhinestone. And we had a decent amount of it. And the reason why is most every place that you see that there's a white color, there is some of that rhinestone going throughout there. So, I mean, can you even? Can you eat, I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't even. The fact that there's so much color, y'all, like almost every section. Now, I will tell you, this is going to have, there are moments of color blocking, which if you don't know what that is, that's where you're going to have blocks of the same color that you're going to be able to do. But there's also a lot of confetti um, where you're going to be changing colors a lot, which I am perfectly okay with. Um, but it's going to turn out beautifully. Every section is going to have like a lot of interesting things going on with it. So I am super excited to start this. Okay. So I'm going to let us look at this while I talk about the event. So once again, I am doing, I am hosting an event along with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment and Kara from The Principal Painter. And we are celebrating Craftably in the month of June. So we call it Craftably Craze. And so then we add the year that we're doing it. So Craftably Craze 23. This is our second time doing this. Um, this is a yearly event where uh, we want to spotlight Craftably and... Um, you know, share the, sh share them some love, show them some love and share our love of Craftably. They're an amazing company. Um, they are a, a mom and pop company and they are just, Michael and Amy are fabulous. Um, and so what do you have to do? And I will make sure that in the description of this video, I will put the link for, um, we're using Mindy's, uh, Facebook group, which is called Diamond Moments and Crafts, and that is where we're going to be putting the post for you to do. So basically, all we're asking, you do not have to have a brand new start, okay, but please don't have more than 50% of your canvas already completed before you start, okay, so you don't have to have a new start, it does have to be a craftably, it has to be a craftably painting, um, so, but you you know, you need at least 50% or more to still have to complete. Um, we don't ask that you have a finish or a certain amount finished. We ask that you make reasonable progress every week. Now, reasonable progress. You know, we need to see that you've actually made progress, progress. Um, and so what we're going to do is you will have uh, on Diamond Moments and Crafts, It'll be starting June 1st, and it'll go all the way to June 30th. And you will go to Diamond Moments and Crafts. 
they will have a post up there where it says week one start and week one progress. So there's that week you'll have two because you'll have your start and you'll have later in the week you can then go back and on that same thread, <coughs> so sorry, put your progress picture. Now, let's say that you don't get to start this until week two. That's okay. It just means on week two is where you'll put your startup picture and your progress because you won't have anything on week one. Um, so whatever week you start, that's the week, you know, that you'll have two posts on. Um, but every other week you'll have one progress post, just one, because only one's going to get counted. Okay. Um, and the way that we are doing this is we will close out the um the facebook post on the thursday okay so it's because it's starting on the first which is a thursday and it's going to end on the next thursday which because i'm on my phone i don't have my calendar with me which i want to say is like the seventh or eighth one of those but it's on that next thursday and, and it's going to close at 11 p.m eastern standard time which is 10 p.m central standard time okay so that post will close so you want to make sure you get it in by then and then the next post will go up right after that for the next week okay so it's going it's running from thursday to thursday except for the last week the last week um the 30th is on a friday and so that one will end on a friday um then on Saturday of uh, each week, so like uh, Saturday the 10th, Mindy is going first and she will do a quick video um, sharing what prize that she's given and announcing the winner for week one. Then week two, which I believe is the 17th. See, look, see, I wish I would have wrote it down and ding, dingy bat me didn't do it. Um, but Kara will be doing week two. And then I will do week three. And then Mindy, Kara, and I will go live with Mindy on Mindy's channel on the first, the Saturday, which is the first, July the first, to announce our grand prize winner. So there are three weekly prizes and there are, there's a grand prize winner. Um, so I really hope that y'all will tune in and um, watch us. <coughs> oh, so sorry watch us uh this always is so much fun i love working on craftably paintings the drills are fabulous the canvas is fabulous and so i hope 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 that you will come and join us forgive me for my throat i'm gonna pause one second woo wowdy woo you ever been talking and you're just your throat starts messing up well that's what's happening to me i think i've talked too much today at work um, so anyway, I hope that you come and join us. I hope you have a great time. Um, please remember, if you do like this picture, this one is sold out currently, but Thursday, this Thursday. So hopefully if this goes up Wednesday, then it means tomorrow. If it goes up Thursday, it means that day. Um, this Thursday is going to be the last 40% release um, of, th of their last 40% from the shipment. So there should be this one come back. They also have so many other cute ones. Oh my goodness. They are so precious, y'all. I am, I'm dying to go get my hands on a couple of them more. Because I want more. I want the turtles. They have these pretty turtles. Okay, so I hope that y'all have enjoyed this. I know it has gone a little bit long. But I wanted to make sure that I unboxed this. And showed you guys. As well as tell you about... Um, making sure that at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time on Thursday, y'all are clickety-clackety on the Craftably website, clickety-clackety, so that you can see the, um, the newest ones that are coming out up there, um, and I hope you join us for Craftably Craze 23. Um, I know I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, that's all that I have for you. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really does help the channel. 
And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, I would love you to subscribe and become part of the Crazy Diamonds family. Um, just make sure that you hit that bell icon for all notifications. That way you know anytime that I upload a video or anytime that I go live. I'd love to be able to talk with y'all and I uh, just enjoy having friends, guys. Um, all right, so I'm going to leave you like I always do. Reach for the stars. Grab hold. Hold on and never let go. Until my next video. Bye, guys.